Hello everyone and welcome to Volta Vault. Last week we talked about internal dialogue. You know, you have that running thoughts through your mind each day and that's perfectly normal. I mean, we all have thousands of things that run through our minds. What we have to be really aware of though are the thoughts that maybe bring us down. And so we talked last week about doing a uh, inner dialogue audit, a thought audit, so that you could think about as you listen to yourself, talk to yourself, am I being an ally of myself or a critic? This week we're going to talk about a very cool, exciting research that's being done to help us when we get stuck in a negative thought pattern. People refer to that as rehashing, rumination. We all know what it feels like. We've all had it. There's some really fascinating research going on at the University of Michigan where they wanted to study what does the brain look like when we're stuck in a negative thought pattern and what can you do to stop that activity in the brain. And they refer to a method called third person self-talk and that's done silently. Silent third person self-talk. So here's what they did. They looked at with an MRI scan people's brains when they were thinking about something bad that had happened to them that conjured up negative emotions. And they studied their brains with an MRI scan to see what was going on in the brain when the person was thinking about that bad story, like, oh, I had such a bad presentation. I made so many mistakes. I embarrassed myself. My presentation really stank. Is that a word? I think the word is stunk. Anyway, their brains, the prefrontal cortex was lit up and hyperactivity and of course we know what that feels like but they literally took a picture of what it looked like. They incorporated a method however to see what it would do to that activity and they had the person recall the story in third person so instead they used their first name so it could have gone something like this Lois that presentation wasn't your best but Lois you did your best and the audience walked out with the facts they needed. Well, they literally studied the before and after brain activity that was going on in those people and saw that when you gave yourself that emotional distance by using your first name as though you were an observer of yourself and not yourself, the brain activity went down statistically significantly. So the next time you find yourself stuck in that thought pattern and you can't get peace of mind, think about that same story in the third person using your very own name. That's this week's tip from the Volta Vault.